Hey gang, this is Tony and I am making this video so I can show you how you can use the live scoring feature of the Your Tennis Game app. The video footage that I'll be using is from Winston Du. He is a tennis YouTuber with an anti-RP rating of 4.5 along with Karu Sal who is a former ATP pro and he runs the My Tennis HQ channel. Links to their respective channels will be on this, the description below. So in order to start using the live scoring feature, you need to have an event created. Um, I already did that. So to access that, all you need to do is hit the plus icon, go to the events. There will be two tabs. There's an upcoming tab for events that are happening in the future. And over and done things that have already passed so the event that I want is from the, the March 30th on Wednesday so tap that if you tap on the total spots area over here you can see who all accepted so I've got three players these by the way are dummy profiles that I created for demo purposes so I'm gonna hit the back arrow go back to the main screen now from here, you want to tap the score match button. Next you want to specify if it's singles or doubles. So for this one we'll do singles. There's a few options, three set, pro set, one set, you know, five set match. <laughs> Who plays five sets? So we're going to go with three sets, even though we are only scoring the first set. Next let's pick our players in team A. So that would be, let's do Winston and the player in team B that will be career select all right now that that is all set I'm gonna hit the score match button then I've got two choices enter scores or score match live um, I'm, we're gonna do the score match live because we're going to be going to be scoring as the match is actively progressing so tap that and then it will it will now then switch to this view we're in um, you've got the set scores up here on the top you've got a tile for player one and another tile for player two an undo button if you uh, made a mistake like for example if I you know tapped on on player two by mistake but I didn't mean to I can hit the undo button and that would undo that point um, additional stats if you turn that on every time you you know tap a score or a point it would ask you whether or not what what happened with that point so it could be an ace a winner double fault or unforced error or you can just skip it in this case since we are haven't started I'm just gonna gonna do undo all right so now we're gonna switch over to the video and score as the match is progressing we're going to keep track using the app. That was for Winston, so I'm going to tap on Winston and think that would be an unforced error. Okay, so that one goes to Carew, and that would be an unforced error. Now they both have one in terms of unforced errors. And by the way, guys, I'm just kind of guessing whether or not it's really unforced error because you know, I'm not really an expert, but that is my best guess. Okay, that score went to Carew. Tap there. I'm just going to skip that. So that concludes at least the first game. So if you notice, it's going to ask you whether or not did you mean to actually award that 
to Karu. So you can hit OK or just leave it as is. And you say, what happened? So I'm just going to do unforced error. The set score says 1, 0, Karu. All right, so now you guys probably have a pretty good idea on how this works. I am going to stop talking and I'm just going to display the scores, the match as it progresses. No, I think you expected a bigger serve, and my serve was kind of short, or kind of uh, slow. Yeah. You actually just spot it in front of you. Quick step, and stay mobile on the return. Don't get stuck on the ground. You get stuck on the ground, you, you're only going to return the perfect serve to you. You're not going to be able to actually go to the, the ball. Yeah. You got to split step and keep, keep moving to it. Uh, uh,
winner to finish it that way. Okay guys. All right. So uh, wow, that was a fun rally. The one thing I'd like to mention is that when someone is scoring a match via the live scoring feature, you can actually go to their profile and see the scores progress as each point is being played out. Picture a scenario wherein you are a parent and you have a son or daughter that plays in varsity teams this would be a good way for you as a parent to virtually keep track of the game uh, as it's being played. So since we're done with the match, all you need to do is uh, tap on the left arrow on the upper left hand corner. And then you can either end the match, exit the screen to pause it or cancel. So we're going to tap on end match. And then it's going to ask you who won um, who won the match so uh, we're gonna choose Karu and boom that match is recorded and boom that match is recorded um, you can tap on that actual match and you can see all the stats displayed as you can see um, double faults one double fault for Winston uh, no double fa faults for Karu uh, Unforced errors, uh, sets one, games one. Um, Kuru had two aces, and I, th I, I recorded one winner uh, for Kuru, but I think there were two or three that I saw. So anyhow, hope that is helpful. Let us know what you think on the comments. Thank you.